All right, guys. This is a bit of a special episode today. Um, I'm actually filming from a bit of a remote location. I can't actually tell you where I am, but um, this one's going to be a little bit different. Now, the reason for this video is I want to change up my channel a bit. And because you guys have been so fantastic of recent, and we've managed to get over two and a half thousand views, and that's been up since a thousand in about two weeks. So I want to do something different and to reward you guys as well. Now, I'm going to start off with slight changes I want to make. I want to add in a couple of different elements into videos that I do. I'm going to be doing a couple of self-help, motivational, whatever you want to call it, um, same idea. So I'm wanting to do that to help you guys because I've never really went into this in the videos, but I've been going through a bit of a, a rough time lately, having to deal with mental illness. It's not been a great time. So what I found is that there was a lot of resources on YouTube, which helped me to move on and get on with my life, as well as help from doctors, families, and all other. It's a combination treatment, but it all worked really well. Now today, I want to give you a bit of a, a motivational one. Um, I, I I read this story while I was in one of my darkest times, and it really helped. So the story is about a gentleman now. This gentleman, if you piece together who it is throughout the story, kudos to you. I really didn't know this about this in particular gentleman, but so the story goes is that the child's born in America. He by age five, um, he's lost his dad. So things not great at a young age. He lives with his mum. Then by age sixteen, um, he leaves school. So quite early to leave school. Don't think he had a lot back from at the time. Can't confirm that, obviously. But to leave at that kind of age, you're not going to leave with everything you really want to be a successful, successful life. Now, by 17, he'd already been working in four jobs and he'd been let go by all four. So he's kind of struck out there. He's not having the greatest. But by the time he's 18, he's married. So... He's in a relationship, he's got married to this woman, and by 19, he's had his child. So within a space of three years, he's actually been through quite a lot already. So in three years, he's been out of four jobs, he's got married, and he's had a kid. The next year, by age 20, his wife leaves with the daughter. So, again, not really that great. I don't know the backstory why, but she left with the daughter so he's now left on his own after having ups and downs over the last few years and he's left completely abandoned almost so he keeps plodding away he keeps working now by age 26 he's fired from a sales job that he was in so again he's going back on the downward spiral and what happens next is that he actually tries to kidnap his daughter now, because of the feats that he's trying to do, I think he's realised that there is a lot of passion there. He does have a lot of love for both his wife and his his daughter. So what happens is that they end up moving back in. The next few years, a lot of time's passed. So this in particular gentleman's come up to retirement age, 65. He looks to retire and his retirement pension pot is currently standing at $105. I mean, if you think about that in today's spectrum, that wouldn't even pay rent for a month, maybe a week, and then that's it. So he really didn't have a lot to go on and, and live with for the rest of his, his life. So as you can imagine, with thinking these kind of things and, and how everything's went down, He's obviously got thoughts of, do I just end it now? He's th he's feeling suicidal. He really does. But then it occurs to him. It's at the age of sixty five. It occurs to him. There's something better I can do. There's something better I can be doing. So, with that hundred and five pounds, he spends eighty seven dollars of that. So the majority of it on chicken. And he fries it with his own recipe because he knows he's good at cooking. He is absolutely fantastic at cooking. He makes up this chicken, he's got it all there, and using the sales experience from years gone, 
he sells that chicken door to door. And I would tell you what state it in, I bet you can guess who it is. If I said he was selling it door to door in Kentucky, it's Colonel Sanders. Now, if you think at how global Kentucky Fried Chicken has got, KFC has got, because of that man, Colonel Sanders, and what he's managed to achieve in such a short space of time, at the age of 65, 64, he had nothing, absolutely nothing. His pension pot was $105, and now it's a multi-million dollar company that has just come from nothing. And that's what I like about this story, is that it's come from nothing. Even when he thought his cards were done at the age of 65, 65 and he then went no I am meant for something better I am going to do something better and he comes up and he makes the global company that is Kentucky Fried Chicken now if he can do that at age of 65 just remember people we've got a lot of time time may seem to be going quick but it's how you use it that is important at the age of 65 he then went on to use his time so greatly and build up that franchise that everyone should know this story. It was amazing to me that I just found out that when I was going through that dark time about this story. So if you can take anything from it is don't give up. There is always something better. You have a purpose and you can be doing something better like Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders didn't want to end it. He made the best of it. And he's went on and made a multi-million pound company. Why can't you? It's all about what you can do. And it's all about using that time and using what you're good at to help people. I hope this story helps because it really helped me to say I am meant for something. And I think, honestly, that it is to help people out there with hard times. If, if I struggle to find it, how many other people is there? So this is why the videos that I'm going to be doing is going to be slightly different, slightly more. I'm still going to be doing my gaming stuff. I'm still going to be doing my car stuff. But this is going to be a new element we're adding in. And I'm so glad I have found it and I know what my purpose is. So please subscribe and that way you'll see lots more of these kind of videos coming up. I'm going to be helping with a lot of different things. Might chuck a few style ones in there as well. But guys, please, please don't give up. There's always hope. Now I'm going to sign off for now. But I look forward to seeing you all, guys. Thanks for listening.